Hi there and welcome to Ask Bondi Vet, proudly brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. My name is Pete Laser, joined by one of our Bondi Vets, Dr. Denny. Denny, thanks for joining us. Hello, how are you going? Very well. This is the time where we get to answer all of your questions about your pets at home. And Alex has asked an age-old question. Are dog bones safe? I always hear people talking about how you should never give your dog cooked bones because they can splinter is this true? The old bone dilemma. Uh, yes, it is a bit of a dilemma that continues to be discussed. So certainly spot on about the cooked bones. We definitely want to avoid cooked bones under all circumstances. They have an increased risk of splintering and that can lodge and penetrate through your dog's esophagus, their gut and cause a life-threatening situation. So absolutely well done, no cooked bones. Cooked bones are out. What about raw bones? Raw bones? certainly are a better option than a cooked bone, but they are not without risk. So it's really important that you are aware of those risks if you are deciding to feed your dog a raw bone. So things that can happen is that they can fracture their teeth, they can uh, get a bit of bone lodged in their gut, which can cause a surgical emergency. They can also end up severely constipated. Um, there's also the risk of uh, getting infectious diseases as well, so some gastroenteritis or potentially even neurological diseases that are carried in that raw meat around the bone. So there's a lot of risks to consider, um, so just need people to be aware of them. Okay, being aware of those problems, what if the heart is set on bones? If you are dead set on bones and there's just no two ways about it, then certainly knowing the safest way to give that bone is important. So my suggestion would be um, to make sure your bone is an appropriate size for your dog, so that's something maybe chatting to your vet would be a good idea. Uh, making sure there is a little bit of meat or cartilage on the bone for the dog to really rip off and gnaw at, because that's going to be um, doing all the abrasive action on the teeth. Once all that has been removed from the bone though, you really want to get that bone away from the dog. You don't want them to actually ingest the bone itself. So that will help avoid a lot of the risks. What about other solutions from a dental control point of view, but also an enrichment point of view as well? Perfect. I guess if, if you're feeding raw bones because you think it's the only real way to keep your dog's teeth cleaned, there's lots of other options out there these days. So certainly your gold standard is brushing your dog's teeth every day. It's not for everybody, <laughs> but that's, you know, that's going to do the best job at keeping your teeth in good shape. Uh, other options are some fantastic dental dry foods that are specifically designed to sort of fracture up the tooth so that it um, really is very abrasive on the tooth itself. As far as other options for enrichment, because certainly a lot of dogs love to just have a good old chew on the bone. Um, there's uh, treat dispensing toys which are fantastic and they really uh, make the dog think and have to figure out how to get the food out. So it can be even more satisfying to them to use their brain at the same time. So that's, that's probably a good um, other option than bones for that enrichment purpose. Great advice. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> no worries. If you've got a question, get onto our Bondi Vet Facebook page or, of course, on the website bondivet.com forward slash questions. We'll be back with another episode of Ask Bondi Vet very soon. Bye for now. This episode was brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. Get your best friend covered today at bondivet.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.